Right, ladies and gents of uh, YouTube, Mac Tightwad here, as you'll see me in a distressed state slightly later on. I've been challenged by uh, Chris and uh, I think it was Mike Smith to do this ASL, uh, sort of the ice bucket challenge. Well, in the theory of doing things slightly differently, I'm going to try and do this in a, in a bushcraft sense. So, the challenge was cold water to be wet and not to like it. So, I'm going to do a couple of things with, uh, well, just going to do it sort of a uh, slightly differently. Bergen completely packed up um, as we see it today where uh, I would have been over having a wander in the woods and the brew and just testing out a few new bits of kit. Fully uh, weighted Bergen. I'll show you that in a sec anyway. Um, but what I aim to do is swim across the river taking that with me and trying to be in some sort of good order at the other side. So it's rather like a military sort of a uh, uh, river crossing. Um, now as you can see here I can't, I can enter the water here, but there's not a place I can get out, loads of reeds in there. So what I'm going to do is, to simulate me going across, I'm going to go out and then swim down this way. And yes, you didn't, you, you got that right, I'm taking the Bergen with me. Um, so, I'm walking down about 10 metres, roughly about here, my wife will indicate to me, because I shall be in dog order, I reckon, with the, uh, the cold, uh, and then swim back and just get out the same sort of side. So it's a simulated river crossing. I would go straight across and get out the other side, but um, anywhere where there's good crossing points, the river's really, really low. Um, and that's swimmable in there. Um, what I'm going to show you is, this is my Bergen. <coughs> no, that's, I'm not in any way uh, cheating. That's got everything it would normally have. Ah, so, ladies and gents, let's just imagine we're in a bushcraft environment then. Um, insert your own scenario here, you've literally, the, all the bridges are down, uh, the bridges are guarded, whatever you want to do, uh, whatever you want to think there, and uh, how are you going to get across this river from A to B, um, and how can you do it within, and be in some sort of order at the other side, i.e. kit dry, and uh, you'll be able to have a small admin time there, get yourself sorted, and then crack on and go away. So at this point, I'm going to do it old army style. I mean, I know nowadays the guys um, dump everything into a Gore their Gore-Tex bivy bag, tie it up at the top, and that becomes a flotation aid. When I was in, uh, we used to poncho, so I've no idea whether this is going to work. I haven't done this for in excess of 25 years. My uh, Mrs. Ms. Tightwood there, look, <laughs> she's just like, yeah, giving me your mental look, and she's uh, normally right, sadly. Um, so the next time you'll see this is uh, I will wrap that up inside a uh, DPM army poncho. Um, you should stick to roll it all up inside itself, paracord round it and hopefully the Bergen floats and so do I. And the idea is it, it won't be totally bone dry because what we'll get in somewhere, however, anything inside the Bergen should be dry by the time you get yourself out. Um, and uh, disassemble your little um, flotation package which will be that Bergen. Anyway, I'm going to come back to you in a minute uh, um, unless I just uh, think actually have a, an attack of common sense. Do you think I should? Yep. Say again? Yep. Am I mad? You're fucking stupid. What am I? Fucking stupid. <laughs> you can't swear on YouTube, missus, and it's unusual for you to swear. <laughs> so anyway, I'll, I'll get that prepared and I'll bring it back. Right, ladies and gents, um, everything I've got with me, I'm not bringing anything special out for this. As I can say, we can still see the burgers. Um, heavy enough, I've not got anything, you know, I've got my axes and everything I would be using here today. I can't sort of weigh it, I haven't got weighing scales to weigh it. No, that's all my burners and cookers in that side. Okay. A little tip here, what we always used to do was make sure your sleeping bag was unfolded inside, don't have it in the compression sacks, unfold it, stuff it in as it is in the middle of that Bergen, that way um, you've got a lot of air trapped inside of it. Right, never used this poncho before, hopefully this one's going to work. I've got it on the right side, that way, I believe that's the way it's inside that. Can you just look down that before to make sure I'm in? Yeah, your poncho is. Is that good? Your poncho is. Yes. Yeah. Right, British Army ponchos don't come with a hood in the middle no more, which we should tie up and double over. But, ah. Uh, something else I've got with me. We 
which is a blow up pillar right I'm just going to it takes a while to blow these things up so I'll just stop it in between Right, ladies and gents, obviously this is the old uh, pillow, mostly you carry one of them. Don't be uh, afraid to get that out. Get that in the bottom. That's going to be another bit of flotation aid. Okay, the bottom of the burger's heavy, that sort of side's heavy. Um, and then, uh, oh, you kind of got to do is, with great difficulty, wrap this up inside it. On the sides. The only other thing I'm going to be using, as you can see, some standard paracord you'd have with you. Nothing that's being used today you wouldn't have with you. And I've wrapped that up now. What I'm going to have to do is get the paracord out. I'll bring you back when I've wrapped the paracord around it, okay, to show you what I've done. Right, right ladies is... and gents, what I've done is, it's flat out, sides in, the, the longer sides pulled in, rolled up around the stick, and then I've wrapped paracord around it, okay. You want to keep it tight, but don't aim to force all the air out of um, your actual poncho. Now, I've got no idea, one, well, I'm fairly reasonable it will float because a burger should float anyway. Uh, like I say it's got everything I would normally have in it. Uh, integrity is good. Uh, I'll pull some kit out later on just to see if it's dry. Um, but this is how the military do it. Um, obviously, I'm not going to go into all the recce and you know, two in, two out, and all that sort of kit. You know, you'd have your helmet on, your skiddies, everything, your clothing would be at the top there. Probably put it in a plastic bag. Every squad co co carries a plastic bag, you know, a big old bin bag. Stick it in the top there, a bit more of a uh, flotation. That's my only worry there, because that's what I remember what we used to do with a black bag. Put your boots in, put the bits and bobs. And uh, normally, guy with skiddies, obviously, to save everybody's modesty, I'm just uh, slightly dressed here. Mrs. Tightwad there, which is behind me, uh, is uh, safety, uh, and I am a very, very good swimmer. Um, so at this point, we've so I don't look like a complete now. We've got somebody coming down on a bike. Um, well, I'll just keep stopping it, uh, keep going anyway. So that's it. That, that is the bundle as it is. And when you pick it up, that will be it like that. Uh, and you should enable to be uh, drop that in the water. It will float. And uh, you don't have anything tied to you because if you need to let it go, you need to let it go. Right, just let the lady go first. So we are nuts. <laughs> um, and uh, what I do that goes round there and then round once round once so if I need to let that go for whatever reason if I get into difficulty I can do okay but that remains me but you can always swim with one hand on that so uh, I'm rather thinking I should just add a, an, an ice bucket tipped over me so uh, without further ado take my glasses off uh, Mrs. Tightwad's going to follow me, so I'm going to go down, I'm going to swim up the river as opposed to crossing it, swim back and attempt to get out, okay? My only worry is there's quite a steep bank there, it's kind of, I will have this physical strength when the cold has sat there, because your old <laughs> goes up in the, you know, and <laughs> you can't really breathe, ladies and gentlemen, because it is cold, it's, um, I'm actually quite cold stood here like this at the moment. So, uh, without further ado, let's get it done or not, but um, at this point I'm actually kind of regretting this and thinking why didn't I just get me missus to throw a bucket of ice water over me which you would have enjoyed wouldn't you? Would you? Yeah, should I just take this off? Yeah, just stop it now because I want full nine minutes on. There we go. Right, ladies and gents, without further ado then, I'm sort of regretting I'm sort of said I'd do this now. I've got my foot in the water when it's freezing. Um, I will go out, swim down, come back and get up. Um, the old ASL challenge was just to have cold water, so hopefully this will suffice. And uh, it's kind of bushcrafty. If you need to get across the river, keep your kit in some sort of order, some sort of dryness and uh, you're able to dry yourself off and operate on the other side. Right, here we go. <laughs> oh! Is it cold? <laughs> oh! It's ever so cold. 
Um, I'll tell you what, we're have problems getting up here. Right, anyway, let's get in, come on. It's very easy at this point to find an excuse to uh, stop doing this and not upload this to YouTube. No, it's not. Be a man. Get in there. So you're calling me a wimp? Go on then. In you go. And as we can see, look, there's your Bergen floating. Got that in shot, Rosina? I have, yes. Right. So anybody does that, doesn't think a Bergen can float, there you go, OK? I'll tell you what's helping. That is the old um, pillow that most of you carry about. Right, crucial moment now, it's called the gonad moment. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. I think he's cold. <laughs> Make sure you get in this one. Film, film Rosina, bloody hell! <laughs> I'm coming past the bush. Right, if you can hear me, it's going to hit your chest, you've got to false breathe as much as you can. Right, you need to come back now, darling. Right, hang on. I'll just hang it back in the water. Oh. I think he's cold. <laughs> <laughs> hang on. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean it to do that, but then what? Hang on. Oh, he's going under. One more for the Queen. I wonder how he's going to get out of here. <laughs> right, crucial point. Yeah! Did slip it down. Didn't have it done tight up enough, but there you go. Oh. What's the time on that, Rosina? Uh, six minutes eleven. Right. No, because that did go right over on me. Mm. So I'm not expecting the Bergen to be dry. But it floated, ladies and gents. If you've never seen that gone on, that is how you make a Bergen float. Let's have a look. Put me mucking about. Because there is water inside it. There'll always be some water inside it. You can't stop that. All right. That is because when it hit my chest, the whole thing almost rolled round on itself. But let's go. Let's have a look. Again, that's velour. So you can see a bit of that's got wet. <coughs> oh, it's still off for me to catch my breath, I've got to say. Oh. Right, so, uh, ladies and gents, as you'll see, I keep all my stuff in plastic bags. Everything in there is, yeah, that's no worries, gonna be dry. Because if you think these burgers are proper, proper waterproof, they're shower proof at best. Let's have a look. No water in there, that's all my cooking kit, my transgear stone. Right, no water or anything round the top side so in actual fact because that whole package tied at the top went up round like that I don't actually think that's too bad and that's soon going to dry off Obviously, I know I've got no problems with this because this is where I keep my first aid kit and my first aid kit is in a Tupperware box just come in quickly and get that Rosina first aid kit is in a Tupperware box 
so I just my breathing's coming back to normal now. Mm. That's that's cold when it when it hits your go now, it's <gasps> and when it hits your chest <gasps> and I flat and that's where it can one under a little bit. So ladies and gentlemen, nothing there that won't dry off very, very quickly, apart from me. I'm just being the embarrassment now, obviously. In a black bag with your kit in, you'd have a quick dry. Dry yourself off, put your um your wet kit on, and uh away you go. So the ASL challenge was uh well get wet cold water I've done it slightly differently sort of assimilated I'd like to do it with a little bit more realism next time a walk crossing where you've got to get your burger which will weigh about a third of what you do across the river as well in a reasonable sort of dryness and uh, I reckon it'd have been a lot better than that but I admit when it hit me chest I was like bloody hell and it's the top of it soaked underneath the water so as it's the traditions and how much time have I got left with it three minutes three minutes um, I'm gonna nominate some people as I have got, which is called brain freeze. Um, <laughs> get the glasses on. <laughs> Getting Stop. old, darling. I know, Mrs. Uh, shut up, hair dye. Um, <laughs> I'm nominating Mrs. Mrs. Mike Smith, Mr. Shazboo from Australia, because uh, you enjoy doing your wife too much, and uh, for uh, Mark and Geordie of Essex bushcrafting and obviously then people will get a message from me as soon as I get home dried off and, and in the shower so uh, ladies and gentlemen it's a sort of a custom to uh, donate something ASL is at uh, millions a good thing about a report about that and all the other ch ch charities are suffering because people are giving to one and not spreading it out um, at the same time as I got challenged by Mike Smith shortly before that I just watched a short video from Funky He's doing a walk. I don't know a great deal of detail about it. I have um, sent him a PM. He's going to get back to me. I will donate um, 20 quid to that, okay, to Alzheimer's. Um, I'm not going to go into big de details why, but there's certainly a little bit of that in my family. So that's a 20 quid donation. ASL challenge. I've been in the water for a considerable time. And if that don't cover it, then I'll have to take a big fat foul on that. Right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very much.